This is the Drock USB port tester. Comes with the meter. It's got two USB ports on each side and a little adjustment button. Here's an image of the instruction sheet. If you want to pause it, you can read that. Best way to describe it is this is kind of like a kilowatt meter for USB ports. I found it's good to test USB chargers. So this is a stock Motorola charger. It's putting out 5.1 volts. This is a USB light band. Shows it's using 0.45 amps. And if you times volts by amps, you get watts. So it's using about 2.3 watts. And on the kilowatt meter, it is reading two, so it does seem accurate in the wattage. This is a charger for a Google Pixel 3a, showing 5.15 volts, about one amp, about 4.4 watts, on the kilowatt meter, it's showing four watts. So here I've got it plugged into my laptop. It's reading 5.13 volts. I'm gonna plug in this USB game pad. It actually uses no power at all, zero amps. And it is working. Now I'm gonna test this gaming controller. The internal part is a USB iPack. Okay, it shows it's using 0.02 amps and that equals 0.1 of a watt. This is a USB flash drive. It's using about 0.03 amps which is about 0.2 watts. This USB flash drive has been giving me problems. It takes a really long time to be recognized by the computer. I'm going to plug it in and see what it reads. I'm also going to time it. 0.1 amps Still hasn't been recognized by the computer Okay, there it goes it took 15 seconds Now it's using a lot less electricity too. 0.2 watts Now let's use it to fix something. I have a LED scrolling sign that I bought it came with this cheapo USB charger I'm gonna plug it in it's reading 3.6 volts and the sign isn't even coming on. Now it's trying to come on. It's kind of fluctuating between three and a half volts and the sign is glitching. It's not cycling through the animations properly and it kind of jumps. Right now it's five volts, three volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart and see if there's something wrong inside. Okay, the first thing I notice, this capacitor right here, the top is domed. It's like swole up. This cap is 1000 microfarads, 10 volts. And on the chart, it should read no higher than 0.12 on the ESR meter. So I'll test the capacitor with my ESR meter. It's reading 14.6 ESR. Super high. It's a very bad cap. So I kind of pull on the cap from behind. Take my soldering iron. Just heat up the solder and pull from the back side and it pops out. Let's retest the cap out of circuit. It's reading 12.9 ESR, still super bad. And then let's test it on this capacitance meter. It's reading 387 microfarads. It should read a thousand. So here's the old cap. I pulled this cap from an old circuit board I have in the garage. And here's the replacement cap that I'm going to use. This one is 1000 
and 10 11 microfarads so that's good let's test the new cap on the ESR meter it's reading 0 0.09 which is a very good cap I take some needle nose pliers straighten up the pins of this new capacitor I'm also going to clean up the holes with some solder wick you can see now the holes are nice and open and on the board the little striped area is the negative so that's where this white stripe goes and then you just insert the cap and a bend a pin to hold it in place and I re-solder it trim the excess leads I also tested these other two capacitors and they test fine and I looked over all the solder joints for cracks and that all looks good so now I'll put it all back together Okay, here's the moment of truth. Okay, it's showing 5.2 volts. The sign looks to be working correctly. It's about one amp, which is about six watts. So that one capacitor is what made this little charger bad. It's fixed! This is a pretty useful gadget to check USB ports.